return to the planet of the apes. Secret emergency session, possible invasion of Planet of Apes by intelligent humanoids. Listen to me, all of you, listen to me, gentle simians. If the rumor is true, if intelligent humanoids do exist, they'll teach the other savages to think. They'll revolt, fight back. It will mean all-out war. I tell you, there are no such things as intelligent humanoids or flying saucers. We have to act first. I say, arm ourselves. Protect our families. There's only one answer. Find the invaders and destroy them. But what if we can't find them? Then we annihilate the humanoids. Destroy them before they destroy us. Destroy them! Destroy them! Destroy them! Order! Order! Order in the Senate! The debate is over. The Supreme Council will decide what is to be done. Until then, this rumor shall remain just what it is. A rumor! But even as the lawgiver and the Supreme Council left the top secret session, many observers predicted dark days ahead. Until the administration can be absolutely sure there are no intelligent humanoids on the planet of the apes. I'm Dick Hutley. I bid you a good night. I hope it's a safe one. The Simeon Senate is still besieged by demonstrators today. Demanding to know if there is any truth to the rumor that intelligent humanoids from outer space have invaded our planet. The Senate has demanded that the lawgiver either confirm or deny the rumor, so that if need be, Ape City can prepare for war with the humanoids. Panic, riots, and now war, all because one of your, your soldiers wanders into the Forbidden Zone and comes out babbling about some wild hallucination. He was one of my most reliable men. What he saw was probably nothing more than a run-of-the-mill Forbidden Zone illusion. How can you be sure? That's what's troubling me. I can't. Then for the good of all apes, you've got to act and act now. Tell me, General Urko, does this sound like a story we should go to war over? Silvery spaceship. Mm -hmm. uh, land in Forbidden Zone Lagoon. Big splash. Uh, uh, men speak like apes. Smart like apes. Fly like the birdies. Uh, uh, no more Forbidden Zone. Please. Please. Gentle simians of the press, you've seen the film. Now you know as much as we do. And it is the decision of the Simian Supreme Council that General Erko and I lead an expedition into the Forbidden Zone. We shall journey to the Great Lagoon and find out the truth, whatever it is. Dr. Zayas, in a matter this serious, do you expect the citizens to take the word of a politician or a general? We have anticipated skeptics. Therefore, we have authorized full media coverage of the expedition. But won't an expedition into the Forbidden Zone be terribly dangerous? I'll let the good general answer that. The expedition will be protected by my army. If we find the invaders or their spaceship, I guarantee there will be no trace of them left on the planet of the apes. 
if Dr. Zaius and Erko find that space capsule, it could mean the end of all the humanoids. Not to mention Bill and Jeff. We've got to warn them before it's too late. Is the signaling device still there? Yes, thank goodness. You keep watch while I signal. You do remember the emergency meeting signal? Of course I remember. Just keep watch. Let's see. Due West is that way. I hope they see the signal. So do I. Ok Wu! Ok Wu! What is it? Ok Wu! Ok Wu! A signal. Three flashes. It's Cornelius. The emergency signal. We'd better hurry. Nova, you lead. We'll carry the provisions and water. Nova, lead. Bill, Jeff, you'll have to hurry. If they find your space capsule, they'll destroy it. And you, too. Not to mention countless innocent humanoids. But why the humanoids? Because they won't believe you haven't already infected them with the ability to think for themselves. Then we've got to get to the capsule first and destroy it. We can use a self-destruct computer, blow it to bits. It'll leave no trace. But what about all your equipment? We'll salvage all we can. As long as we get the laser power tools and the deep space oxygenators. Nova, you've got to lead us back to the lagoon. No, no! Bohoya! Bohoya! Make your squirrels! Bohoya! She's warning you about something. And from the looks of it, it must be pretty awful. Nova, whatever it is, we'll have to chance it. Oh, yeah. There's too much at stake. You've got to take us back. Be careful, will you? I've grown awfully fond of both of you. Come now, Zira, dearest. That's no way for a behavioral scientist to act. Right now, all I want to be is a female. On this great day, we venture forth on the most important expedition in Simian history. Forward for the good of ape kind. Just no, Bill and Jeff don't have a chance. They'll make it. Don't worry. Oku, the war. The Forbidden Zone. I wonder if there's a way through. Let's hurry. How do the underdwellers create these illusions? Someday we'll have to find out. But not now. Let's go. This is the entrance to the Forbidden Zone.
Try not to be frightened. There's nothing to fear. Look at me. I'm not afraid. We will camp here for the night and enter the forbidden zone in the morning. They're too close. We'll never make it. If we travel tonight, we should make it with time to spare, with any luck. Intelligent humanoids or not, I don't like this. You scared, Herbert? You bet your life I'm scared. We should be at the lagoon by mid-morning. For history's sake, I hope we don't find anything. nothing to worry about. Now everybody, get some sleep. We leave at dawn. No sign of the ape. Looks like we made it in time. All ready, General Erko. Forward! For the good of all apes! This exclusive news film of the expedition's departure at dawn was rushed back to us today from the Forbidden Zone. Within the next few hours, we should know for sure whether the planet of the apes has been invaded by intelligent humanoids from outer space. Oh, Cornelius, I'm so worried. We've done all we can. All we can do now is pray. Nova, you keep watch. Buhoya! Buhoya! Don't worry, Nova. Whatever it is, we'll be careful. for the oxygenators and the reserve tanks first. Whatever's down there has Nova pretty frightened. Just be careful. so long. Mm. 
You had me worried. What took you so long? Latch was stuck. I had to use a crowbar. Nova spot anything yet? So far, so good. But I can feel our luck running out. I tell you, they're just hallucinations. But I'm afraid. You'd better be more afraid of me than you are of... of nothing. Now drive on, or we'll leave you behind. within minutes. I hope so. It's getting awfully hot. It still works. Lucky for us. What now? You stole the raft and the equipment in our backpack. We'll leave as soon as I activate the explosive device in the capsule. I'll set the charges for eight minutes. Isn't that cutting it a little close? It's taking so long.
I didn't think I was going to make it. Don't thank me yet. Look. Let's get out of here. The lagoon is just over the next hill. Hey, good. Now, if we can erase any evidence that we've been here. General Urko, there's your spaceship. It must have sunk when it landed. They must have escaped. Not even a gorilla could survive in that lagoon with that monster, let alone a humanoid. Back to Ape City before I melt. Sure feels kind of spooky knowing we're all alone here without our ship, our way back home. Well, at least we salvaged our most important equipment. And we're still alive. Thanks to Nova and her people. Order! 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 It is my pleasant duty to convene this press conference to report to all peace-loving apes everywhere that the rumors of spaceships and intelligent humanoids were totally unfounded. I repeat, we found no strange crafts from the skies in the Forbidden Zone and no intelligent humanoids. There has been no invasion of the planet of the apes. Well, at least they're safe now. Yes, but for how long? Extra, extra, read all about it. Planet of the apes safe.